Hello folks, welcome back to my Let's Play of Quake 4. Playing directly after my 20th birthday, so this is all fun and games to me. I had a joke where I was going to quote uh, that opening mo that monologue from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. You know, 20 years ago, a, a, 20 years ago, a child was born, and it was generally considered a very bad decision, and everyone hated it. <laughs> but I can't remember the most of the, most of the monologue correctly, so there's my bastardization of it. Anyway, so I think last time we left off, we were exploring some facility that the Strog that we just captured from the Strog, or whatever. I have bullets and you don't. Well, you technically probably have bullets, but uh, whatever. Strong architecture is stupid. A lot of what they, a lot of their architecture seems to be based on. Uh, I hope they at least kill him. And of course, all the textures look like crap for some reason. The first shot from the shotgun is always the best shot. Okay. Whoa. I'll call that one a big game hunt. <laughs> so yeah, we got a hover tank, which is awesome. Oh crap, it's him. It's one of the railgun a holes. So these dudes are really powerful. They also have shields that basically make them impervious to most small arms fire for a few seconds. Ah, uh, crap, 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 crap. A good way to get rid of them is to... Oh. Look at that, I killed him. Let's explore a bit, get some ammunition. Oh, look at that. It knows what I'm using. Too bad you can't pick up that helmet for uh, extra armor. Although, I guess since it, that fell off that dude. Uh... So that proves that the straw can eat, and they do like the he and they do like uh, long pork. If you done, if you're wondering what long pork means, it's basically a it's basically a euphemism for human meat. Pretty sure they're dead. Negative. The situation is under control. So yeah. Shotguns. They are the fun parts of life. <laughs> I should make that a t-shirt. 
and like have it be all my favorite video game shotguns. Like making a heart. I could probably make that in Photoshop and like it'd be fun. Increase the rate of fire. That ought to add a little more punch to it. There you go. Try to be a little more careful, all right? Okie dokie. Can you move? I don't need healing at the moment. What I do need is some more lead to put down the range. Because I'm bad. I'm mad. And I got a gun with all the Strogs names on it. And a few of the people who aren't strogs, but that's between me and my gun. So yeah. This is the gun this is the new weapon we have. Uh crap, 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 crap. It's got a shield. You want to keep that up before, so they don't punch through your armor, which doesn't replenish, it, replenish itself. Okay, the armor does replenish itself, but the shield replenishes itself way slower. So you got two guns. You got the main cannon, which, well, it's the main cannon. It's your most powerful thing. Then you got your machine gun. Not as powerful, but can definitely... Like, but has a faster rate of fire and can probably punch through a lot more enemies quicker. Your main cannon is mostly used for taking out larger targets like those flying things. Whereas your machine gun can be used to take out missiles or shoot anything that you don't feel like dealing with. Boogie down, I repeat, boogie down. <clears throat> but I think hover tanks are the greatest thing ever. And who and the only reason we don't have them in, in real life is because hover technology is is still in its infancy. But oh my god, if hover te technology was actually viable right now. And not just the pipe dream of a couple of nerds. Yeah! So the best way to deal with those things is to just shoot them out of the sky before they even land. Because once they land, their shields go up and you have to shoot them twice. Although that's easier said than done, I imagine. It's a really split second uh, interval. Oh wait, I have a tank. That's what I call splat. Yes. Run away, cowards! Run so you may not see your see your life flash before your eyes. 
I imagine it would be a horrible life filled with, filled with a lot of pain and more and misery and nothing fun at all incoming missile that from where That's not going away, is it? <clears throat> uh, shut up, shut up, shut up. Uh, come on, die. Oh, it's one of those floating a-holes. That is going to drive me nuts. Wait a bit for my shields to recharge. Hey, it's like those orb things from Cold Lyoko. Now there's a series I haven't th thought about in a long, long time. Yep, definitely like the orb things from Cold Lyoko. Well, no, those things were actually... Well, no, those things were really OP in Code Lyoko. Because I distinctly remember them, uh... Uh-huh. Video game developers, here's the thing. I love you guys. You make what I do in my life possible you make you make doing what I love to potentially be a career which is play video games possible but for all that is good in the world please learn this certain challenges while fun can be quite annoying and while I like challenge, I don't want to be annoyed. Oh my god, stop rolling, you orb of annoyance! What, are they using regular soldiers? Oh, come on, that... That wouldn't even these idiots won't even put a freaking dent in my dent in this thing. I just have to run them over or hit them with the bloody main cannon. They're weaklings. Aqueducts Annex. Sounds like a band. What kind of music they'd play? Probably synth punk or something. Someone drilling something?
Alright, here's a boss. <clears throat> I don't remember what it's called, but uh... But I remember a guy I like listening to call it the unholy... F unholy offspring of Shelop and Cthulhu, and I'm going with that. So, Shithulhu... <clears throat> That's his name now, Shithulu. Crap, is a really tough boss. Because he has, it has missiles. It also has, uh, what you call it? A machine gun. What happened to the music? The best way to keep kill this thing is to just shoot it preemptively. Cause shooting it before it launches a missile destroys one it destroys the missiles. Crap. Yeah, that thing is really hard to get rid of, especially on this difficulty. Cause it's got more health. Also, it's apparently got more shields. The game likes to kill you in the most annoying way possible. I'm saving right here so that it cuts down on the time I have to do. I don't... I don't remember if this thing has weak points or not. Well, I just took out something. Crap. Is it dead? Boom! Corporal Kane wins again! Now let's do something. I have no clue. Go here, I guess. Right there. Just the way. Do, 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 do. Let me see if, real quick. This doesn't tell you what, uh, how long you've been playing, so it's annoying. You don't have to fight these things, by the way, uh, in this part, I think. You can just gun it and get the hell out of here. That's what I usually do instead of just fighting them. Although some levels you do have to actually fight them before the game lets you go. The rain falls down on a humdrum town. I don't know why I'm singing a, singing a Smith song all of a sudden. Forget all of you! I'm too awesome to deal with ya! Oh yeah, I forgot about this.
There's two of them. So why go up to them and fight them? When I can do the sensible thing and stay back here and shoot them from afar with with high explosive high explosive rounds. Because in the words of General Patton, no bastard has ever won a war by dying for his country. He won it by making the other poor bastard die for his country. Now, in this situation, replace the word country with planet and bastard with strong, and we basically have and bastards with us and strong with the other bastards but whatever Macron you magnificent bastard I read your book it's disturbing alright well this is going to be the end of the video, so I'll see you guys next time.